Hi everyone, I am Anonymous Traveler. Today, I will talk about one of the better H.P. Lovecraft inspired books. It's not a fiction, but a Japanese comic book, manga. As you know, Lovecraft's writing is difficult to put into visual format because Lovecraft usually demands active imagination from the reader. Therefore, many Lovecraft-inspired movies ended up a disappointment. And some of visual storybooks in a format of a comic book and manga face the same challenge when it comes to convey the cosmic horror unique to H.P. Lovecraft. However, this book's answer by Junji Ito is one of the better books printed. It somehow pulled off cosmic horror even with the limitation of a manga format. Also, this book was nominated for Best Comic in 2021 at the Angolome International Comics Festival. First of all, let's talk about the author Junji Ito. Junji Ito is like a reigning king of Japanese horror comic book manga. Junji Ito cited several Japanese authors and H.P. Lovecraft his, as his influence. Although most of Junji Ito's work are not directly based on the cosmic horror, his work, usually dealing with the main characters, becoming a victim of a vicious, unnatural circumstance for no reason or logic. So it makes one feel insignificant, small, and helpless in the outburst of an unnatural chain of event, and that is the influence that Junji Ito picked up from Lovecraft. Junji Ito's style is visually striking with a lot of body horror element. Some of his drawings remind me of H.R. Geiger because they are both grotesque and beautiful at the same time. And he published both of full-length manga and very short manga stories. His short stories are usually published in a collection format. Recently, a lot of his work has been translated and published in English, and he even received an Eisner Award for his manga adaptation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein in 2019. Although Junji Ito was influenced by H.P. Lovecraft, he never fully embraced the cosmic horror theme until published this book in two, two, 2019. Junji Ito went into cosmic horror and therefore this manga has less of a body horror element and more focused on creating overall atmosphere of cosmic horror and general feeling of uneasiness. A lot of supernatural elements are incorporated in this story as well. Junji Ito said he used volcanic hair as a basic idea to build up this story. This is not the first time he used hair for his storytelling. But this time, this special kind of hair from Volcano plays a very unique role. In a way, it is like an antenna to the universe and combining all the individuals in a telepathic manner. So, I recommend this book to the fans of Lovecraft and Cosmic Horror Genre. I am attaching the link to the first few pages of this book, so you can check it out. Also, I am attaching another link to the video introduction 
by the author Junji Ito himself. Thanks for listening and all the best.